Hello everyone. As most of you probably know, they're opening up the Combat Rework beta testing later this month, and the signups just began today. So if you haven't done that yet, you, sh you should go sign up. But this video is going to be about some specific things that Mod Wrath has said on the RuneScape forums. I've got all of the pictures of what he said in the description, as well as a link to a thread by um, Mordred, who is a forum mod who's compiling all of the JMod posts in the, uh, in the new Combat Rework forum. So I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, that's yeah, it's very helpful. So anyway, uh, before we get into this, I'd also like to mention that people should really calm down and start freak or stop stop freaking out. Yeah, definitely stop, because the actual update for the combat rework isn't going to be until September at the earliest, and chances are it'll get delayed. So I wouldn't expect it before December to be honest. Uh, it could come before that, but I I always like to keep it play it safe and just expect it to come out in a very long time because that way you're not disappointed so anyway here we are so the first thing is that god swords are going to be all equivalent because all weapons will have their individual special attacks removed and instead you're going to get different abilities based on the type of weapon so for example since god swords are all two-handed weapons they're going to have all they're all going to have the same attack uh so that doesn't quite work for something like claws which is also two-handed so it seems like weapons are being grouped based on their size and whether they're one-handed or two-handed so something like a chaotic maul would likely have the same special attack as a god sword because they're both two-handed and they're both large weapons so that should be pretty crazy i mean can you imagine chaotic maul with a really powerful special um yeah so that should be pretty impressive um, I'm not quite sure what they're doing with claws because I don't think they'd want to nerf them otherwise tormented demons would really have no purpose uh, so I assume they're going to be a small two-handed weapon which there aren't any others that I can think of so perhaps they'll just keep their normal special attack and still be good but yeah with god swords all being the same that should be interesting it'll equalize the prices of them or it should uh, theoretically anyway and it'll also be sort of bad for god wars in my opinion because everyone will just go to the easiest god wars boss because all the god swords will be worth the same amount so i i'm pretty sure that's just bandos and so bandos will be completely packed um but yeah i guess it's okay I, yeah i'm not really such a fan of that the next thing is that the enhanced excalibur effect will have its special attack removed which is a bit disappointing because that was a really nice reward but if they're adding it to constitution defensive abilities to be able to heal that should be interesting it's also going to be a bit crazy for something like fight kiln or fight caves where you have to go in with limited inventory and having to heal is quite important so uh, having rechargeable abilities to be able to heal just based on your health and con your health level and your defense level that is it sounds overpowered but Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they'll have some reason for it, or do some balancing. But yeah, it sounds like it'll be a bit too easy. Um, anyway, next, the Barrow set effect and the uh, Void sets will be the same, so nothing major there, just good to know. Then all melee weapons can train in all different melee styles, so you're not going to have the whip anymore like how it only trains attack, defense, or controlled. You'll have attack, defense, strength, and controlled and mage can train pure defense i assume range can as well and that's well overdue because it didn't make any sense for mage not to be able to train defense in an efficient way the next thing is that it's related to the last one you get experience related to the combat style that you use and that's related to the last one because every weapon will have all combat styles now or all attack strength defense styles now um, and yeah, not you don't get experience based on the skill that unlocks the ability. So for example, if you have 99 strength that unlocks some ability for an extra strong attack or something like that, and you use that ability, you're going to get experience for the attack style you're using, not strength experience because of the strength ability. And uh, this one, it doesn't really matter because they say they're going to balance it out. But from the initial testing, Slayer will be faster with the new combat system. But as they say, they're going to adjust the Slayer experience for Monster to bring it down to the current experience rate. So that's good that they're balancing it. And then this is related to that as well. Slayer experience will still be awarded based on the target's life points. So you can't just spam a bunch of special abilities and expect to get a lot more experience. Although you might get more experience for combat doing that. 
Okay, this next one is in response to a picture of two-handed crossbows that someone saw. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to find the picture, but evidently you'll be able to smith and fletch two-handed crossbows, and they're going to be equivalent to two-handed swords. I'm, I'm quite interested in how this will affect the chaotic crossbow, because I don't think it matters too much for something like a rune crossbow, which is going to be equivalent to like a rune two-handed sword, but if they're high-level equivalents, that should be quite interesting. So we'll see how they do that, but if they come out with like a two-handed chaotic crossbow, that would be pretty impressive. Um, and then the final thing is that you can use the new action bar for skilling. I'm sure this has already been mentioned before, but I just thought I'd mention it again because he confirmed it again here. So you can use the action bar for skilling, and that'll make a lot of things much easier. So his example is using high alchemy, so you can put it in the bar and press 1 to cast it and then click on the item you want to alk. So just easier skilling, um, yeah. So overall, there's so much new stuff that I, I don't know, I'm getting confused and distracted by all of it, so uh, expect more videos as more information comes out. Also, one thing that I want to figure out is they mentioned that the summoning, or, or sorry, they mentioned that special attack recovery potions, uh, they will have some new use, which is secret at the moment. So it seems like the current special attack bar will, it might be left in game, but who knows what it'll do. That should be quite interesting. Um, and also one final note on the abilities. They have a list of some of the new abilities. Um, they're going to be, they're going to be divided into three basic sections. So there's basic abilities, threshold abilities, and ultimate abilities. And the basic ones are just used uh, for low-level skills. There will be things like critical hits, damage over time, like poison, hit multiple targets, reduce damage taken, and many more. For threshold abilities, there will be things like rapid fire, area of effect damage, damage reflection, multiple spell casting, and a lot more as well. And then the ultimate abilities will have extremely damaging things like meteor strike dead shot tsunami and then some life-saving effects which could uh they say completely turn the fight around so yeah i really have no idea what those are going to be like but i'm sure they're going to be pretty awesome and i'm definitely looking forward to this combat rework and the only last thing that i'd like to mention is that they came out with a video of the behind the scenes with some really cool footage of the combat rework so take a look at the link in the description to head over there and yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching.